This is Kirkton Hall in West Kilbride, North Ayrshire. This structure here is a Scottish sundial, very much an item found in Scottish estates. This one dates from 1717. This was erected by Professor Simpson, Professor of Mathematics at Glasgow University, who was from Kirkton Hall. It was erected in memory of his parents. This type of sundial is very unusual and it has multiple faces, so it has a number of different sundials on it which gave different information. Some of them even had moon dials present. This one's been recently restored and it has lost its gnomon. The gnomons are the metal structure which cast the shadow from which the time was told. The faint remains of a memorial device here is a coat of arms. And the actual faces come in different shapes. The remains of the gnomon could be seen. The lead filling which held the gnomon, the metal gnomon, in place. Others had gnomon that were made of stone. So down here, these may well have been casting a shadow without a metal gnomon, but a stone gnomon. These were quite common in Scotland. They were very much the item that a, an estate and rich landowners had to have. There's a famous one at Ladeland House, not far from Kilburnie. And there's even one in Ardrossan at the old town hall the community centre. It uh, looks rather like something Picasso might have produced. Most people don't realise that these structures are sundials. So they are peculiarly Scottish. Others occasionally found elsewhere, but it was Scotland that they were particularly um, popular. They were expensive, quite apart from the carving. The calculations required to produce the accurate results in terms of reading the time of day and so on, or time of night in the case of the moon dial, were uh, only calculated by the more able mathematicians for who you had to pay a handsome price. <laughs>